Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I have a magazine I want to share, which is a little bit different because you may have already seen me announce this earlier, but I just um, got my copy, physical copy of Scrapbook and Cards today. And the reason why this is so special to me is because that is my card. And um, it's a card that I made, um, actually one of my first cards that I made for Cottage Cuts uh, featuring their um, their sweet shop. And I made it Halloween themed. And in particular, the call was for um, Halloween cards. That was one of the things that they were looking for. And so I am part of their... Um, inspiration gallery and yeah so I'm part of that section towards towards the back so exciting to um to be a part of their magazine and if you make cards definitely throw your hat in the ring and submit it you never know um they have I think currently their call is for spring of 2023 and I'll leave a link to um to the open call for projects because you can um, just upload photos. They are looking um, for that specific issue for certain things. And so if you um, design to that brief, um, you might be selected, but they're always looking for great projects, it sounds like. So even if you have something that's outside of what they're currently looking for for that particular issue, you may um, still get uh, featured or um, uh, printed in a future edition. So really, really awesome. Um, nothing beats, I've browsed the magazine online, but nothing beats having the physical copy in hand. And look, you can find inspiration from a lot of our favorite crafters. So these look like they're from Tina Smith, um, who's big on YouTube as well. And then you'll find um, scrapbook layouts as well as card ideas and so really really lovely check out their magazine if you haven't already um then as just a extra little goodie and um gift for um being published which really on its own that was <laughs> just a huge honor by itself but they sent me some goodies as well so super sweet little note um because i did have to send my card to them they sent it back to me along with all of these goodies so inside this um cute little project pouch which has um scrapbook and cards today on it they sent me these goodies from gina k designs so i think this is their the um stamp um cleaning uh cloth which i'm kind of curious to try it out because i I've, I've seen a lot of different brands have uh, something similar to this and i'm wondering if it works any better than the microfiber cloth that i currently use so um so that's kind of cool. And then this is the Daisy's Forever Layering Stencil Bundle. So, you know, to be honest, um, Gina K Designs products are so beautiful, but I actually don't own anything uh, from them. So when I saw this, I was really excited because... Um, because I don't have any of their products. So it's kind of fun to, to try out a new brand. And this does look like um, you get multiple stencils that layer, um, as the name would suggest. And, but then there's also a stamp and a die set. So I'm guessing the dies will cut out the uh, stencil design. Maybe um, these will have some coordinating dies as well. So really cool. Super excited. Thank you so much, Scrapbook and Cards Today. Uh, mostly for, you know, choosing my card to be published in your amazing magazine because that's a huge honor and the extra goodies, just so generous of you. Thank you so, so much. Um, all you card makers out there, whether you have a YouTube channel or not, I, um, you know, definitely throw your hat in the ring and I did not expect at all to be, um, selected, but it 
was just, you know, hugely shocking. <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll definitely try to um, submit projects more regularly too because it's it's so fun to see your project in print <laughs> so thank you again again i'll leave links to um both the online version and how you can um get the physical version of the magazine in the description box below thanks again until next time happy crafting and have a fantastic day bye